pandemic, How to Prevent an Outbreak, is a new documentary series on Netflix. Now, if you're watching this review in early 2020, it's kind of timely based on the coronavirus. If, though, you happen to be watching this after 2020, has the rhinoceros virus taken over and wreaked havoc? The documentary focuses on influenza and the efforts being taken to prevent a global outbreak from happening again. The series is really interesting as they interview medical personnel from around the world on influenza and they also focus on the H1N1 virus as well as some of the permutations and the, the other N's and H's that fall in there and how they could affect humankind. But they also, in a, one segment of it, focus on the Ebola outbreak that is happening in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now that part of the documentary is very fascinating, especially when you take in the cultural perspective of how the region sees not only the outbreak, but the, the vaccinations as well, and what they believe are the vaccinations, or what they believe the vaccinations are, and what the vaccinations are doing. I mean, it's crazy that that they have this belief. I mean, I guess I could see it. They come from an untrusting background, which could be justified. I don't know because I don't live in that area and I don't know their history and how they've come to be. But it's very fascinating to watch how the mistrust translates into preventing care. I like how we get to also see how different cities and cultures deal with research as well as patient care. One doctor from India really bothered me in his interviews. He came across with this flippant hubris, especially in the way that he was treating those infected with H1N1. Now, maybe that's just a cultural thing in the way that it translated on the screen, but he did really come across as arrogant and without any type of empathy or compassion. Putting that aside, seeing the conditions that patients all over the world have to deal with and have to be treated in, especially when you take into consideration the hospitals and the clinics in the United States and how, how clean they're supposed to be kept and all of the safety precautions that go into there. When you look at these other countries and you see just how things are because of either lack of services, lack of space, lack of, lack of funding, whatever that is, it really does put a pandemic, a global outbreak, into a real perspective that this really could happen because you have all of these sick people crammed into one spot with no precautions around them. I mean, half of them don't even have masks that they can be wearing. That's especially important because this is an airborne virus. This isn't the most riveting of documentaries, but it is a good watch from an information perspective. I also didn't get the feel that the filmmakers were trying to incite fear, but rather show how a pandemic really could occur and at the same time, highlight all of the good work and the research being done all around the world by many different people groups in different areas, all trying to come to one, you know, one point, a cure, finding a way to prevent an outbreak from happening, whether that is vaccinating people or vaccinating animals or whatever that happens to be, they're all researching it. And I like that they highlight how good all of this work is and how they are working together in a sense to for one common goal. It's six episodes, each about an hour long, and it's worth the watch, but I'm not sure it's binge worthy. There's no sex or nudity. There is some profanity and some gruesome medical imagery. I give Pandemic, How to Prevent an Outbreak, three out of five couches. Have you seen Contagion or Outbreak? Are you a fan of those medical type thrillers? Are there any other good ones that I should be checking out? Let me know in the comments below. Also a side note on the comments, I've been getting some lately where I truly believe that they're from voice text. And while that's not a big deal, and I love interacting with you in the comments section, uh, you might wanna just double check to make sure that the periods are being added to the right spots or that it's translating well because I haven't been able to respond to some of the comments because I truly can't understand what is trying to be said and what is trying to be conveyed. That's just a, just a PSA to you because I do enjoy the comments and I like interacting with you. Anyway, if you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris, this is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for catching with me.